guys, let me hear you. Welcome back to another art video. Today we are working on an art challenge and I've seen a bunch of people do this lately and the very first person that I saw do this was Rambutan illustrations or art or something like that. She's like insanely talented so like try to look that up because she is amazing. Um, and then I saw like Sacklums do it and then like a bunch of other people started doing it. So I think I am crediting the right person, but uh, I don't know. You know, these things spread around and then who marks it as an art challenge and who just does it to do it. Um, it's kind of like when I did the Crayola marker picture of Neon Cat and, uh, then people started considering that the cheap art supply challenge, so I had to go back and like re-tag it as something else, and I was like, derp, 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 derp. so I think I'm crediting somebody, but who, who really knows anymore on the internet? Uh, yeah, so I do this a lot in my sketchbooks where I use ballpoint pens to make drawings, and the reason for that is that I always carry around a little sketchbook that fits in my purse, and I always just doodle with pencil or whatever pen is laying around. So it's never a finished nice piece that goes into a sketchbook. It's always something that is uh, made with something cheap or unconventional. Like I really like using highlighters in my artwork a lot. And uh, yeah, so I'm used to doing this sort of thing. So um I just thought it would be fun to actually record it and let you guys see because I like art challenges and um, a bunch of people have been suggesting that I do this one. So I was like, hey, I like this, so I'll do it anyway. <laughs> so that was kind of the thought behind this. And in this video, you're going to see two different speed paints. So the first one, you're going to be seeing a just one color one ballpoint pen drawing and that's just a profile sort of picture just a standard picture of my character Lemmy which is what my YouTube name is based off of is this character she was my first character I ever made so um, I just decided I'll do her for both pictures because there are two in this one and I'll use one pen for the first one and I'll do something simple and then I'll do like a whole picture for the second one. So I uh, used, I believe this is a Pentel Wow or something, which is the brand of this ballpoint pen. And I get pens all the time and I end up with other people's pens. Like I don't think like, hey, I'm going to steal everyone's pen, but somehow Lemmy ends up stealing everyone's pen. So I have tons of ballpoint pens. So I went through all of my pens and I was like, hey, what one has a cool color? And this one is blue, which is a very normal color, but it's like a light blue. And I was like, this is really pretty. I have no idea where I got this from. So if you want to consider this a cheap art supply challenge as well, then this one was a free challenge because I don't even know where this pen came from. But I really love it. The color is really pretty. And I have a few other Pentel Wow, I believe they're called, with an exclamation mark. And they have really pretty colors. So I was like, I don't know where I got these, but I, I like these. So um, I did the whole picture of Lemmy with just this one pen. And then you'll see that there's a blue background later. And I just took a Copic, I don't believe, I don't remember what color, I think it was Frost Blue B00. B and I just kind of filled in the background with a color just because I didn't like all the white space. But I didn't want to do a background because this was kind of like a warm up thing just to prove that I can do it with one color or one pen. And then after I did this warm up, I got into the larger picture that you're seeing now of the same character. So a little bit behind the idea of this picture is that I wanted a character and I wanted a background and I wanted more of her body to be showing so it was actually like a scene. And in my little story that I have that I haven't shared with anyone ever, there is this scene in that story. So I figured 
hey, I'll just draw out a scene from that story. So that's kind of my thought process here. It's the same character, it's Lemmy, but it's in color. And what I did was I arranged all of my pens, like I said before, and I picked out ones that were different colors because I wanted this to be a colored piece. I thought it would be more challenging to mix all these pens together and see if I could actually produce an illustration almost. And yeah, I thought that would be more fun because the first one was more like the challenge. Use one ballpoint pen and make a picture. But this one, I'm like, hey, maybe I can make like a whole scene with like lighting and everything. So I got a bunch of different marker pens that you can see here. I didn't really use all of the ones that you see on the left. So one of the pens, I just used the green just for the eyes. The black pen, I don't really like black ballpoint pens because I feel like the ink doesn't flow as smoothly. So I only used the black for the darkest, darkest areas, just very sparingly in a few sections. So um, th there goes two pens right there. Then I use the dark blue very sparingly just in a few areas. Didn't really use that one very much. And I use the darker red because the red between brands might look different. One's like a really red red and then the other one's a darker red. So I use that a little bit in the hair. And then uh, the main colors I really used was an orange, a pink, a purple, and the light blue. So those were the main colors. And you notice that I said I had a purple, but blue and red or pink make purple. So I ended up making a lot of my own purples, but also using the purple pen that I had because it was a different color purple. So you'll see a lot of different blending to create other colors, and but also using the the same color from the pen because it looks slightly different. So that was kind of how I got different effects was by blending colors together to create other colors and all that stuff. So I did cheat on this one like I cheated on the last one. I used the Copic in the last one for the background, but for this one I just used a white Sakura jelly roll because the paper is actually a pink color. I used the white Sakura Jelly Roll to add white to her eyes and also I used it to put the detailing on her dress of like polka dots because I thought it would make it look better because it was just a color and I used the white to uh, put stars in the background because it's supposed to be a dusky sort of sunsetty sort of maybe like sunrisey. I don't really know if it's sunset or sunrise, but it sure is something. And I thought if I had the stars there, then it would kind of make it look a lot more appropriate uh, for the time of night. And I added a little bit of trim on the dress, I think, and maybe a little bit of shine to the hair. I don't know. I tried to use it sparingly, but um, yeah, I love my white gel pen. And side note, I'm doing the cheap art supply challenge coming up. And a lot of artists go out and buy like creamy white paint or something. And they're like, it's cheap, but a jelly roll is really cheap too. It's probably cheaper than going out and buying the cheap paint, right? I mean, you probably don't get as much, but I was like, hey, it's still a cheap art supply, it's a pen, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that in there. So in the first one, you'll see I used a Copic for the background just to block in the color. And then in this one, I just used a white Sakura Jelly Roll just to add a little bit of white so it would stand out against the pink background. And yeah, so that was it for the ballpoint pen challenge. I had a lot of fun with it. And I wouldn't say that I normally do something this detailed in my sketchbook. This was something that I put together for you guys that was on like a larger piece of paper that I thought like you would like. And I tried to push it a little bit more than I would normally push something in my sketchbook. So I hope that you guys liked it. I will be doing a cheap art supply challenge probably next week. Um, Probably. 
I mean, don't quote me on that, but you will be getting it somewhat soon. I, uh, I had, you know those, uh, I'll tell you next week. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about that in this video because it's not related. I'll talk to you guys next week for another art video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestion for future art challenges, please let me know. There is a playlist that I have a whole bunch of art challenges in. So if you can think of something that I haven't already done, I will definitely take it into consideration because they're a lot of fun. And yeah, I really like them. So talk to you guys next week. Take care and yeah, bye.